Hi there, this is Nikki, and it's almost five years since I became a vegan, so I thought I'd give you five lessons that I have learnt on my journey. The first thing I learned is to not obsess over perfection and purity. Uh, you know, in the beginning it was incredible. I used to obsess over things. Where did everything come from? You know, I don't want any cruelty in my life. Where's the computer come from? Where's the paint on the walls come from? And it's just going to drive you insane. It's impossible to live our lives without things that have been used from animal byproducts. Um, but, you know, it's not going to do much good to the movement by obsessing over these things. It's going to make veganism appear unachievable. So what you can do is you can just focus on not consuming animal products in food and clothing and cosmetics. These things are all doable. So, you know, don't obsess too much. And sometimes there will be little dilemmas. I know when I was traveling, I couldn't find um, soaps without palm oil. And palm oil was a whole other story. So, you know, there is a debate going on whether vegans should consume palm oil or not, or, with, or whether we should, you know, be more flexible so that veganism is more achievable. And just, if you can't do it perfectly, it doesn't matter. It doesn't mean you shouldn't do it at all. So yeah. Just let go of perfection and try your best to minimise harm as much as possible and to not beat yourself up over it or drive yourself crazy. Okay, the second thing I've learned is to take part in activism, to channel my passion um, for veganism. Um, because when you first find out about the horrors of factory farming, the environment, blah blah blah, you immediately want to tell people because you feel a sense of urgency. So. Instead of um, trying to preach to all your friends and family, trying to convert them to go vegan, focus on doing demonstrations. You can do leafleting, posters, that's what I like to do. I like to do YouTube videos. Also, I'm organising a film screening for the first time of the film Vegucated. And I think film is a really powerful way to convince people in an inspiring way. And you don't have to do much work either. So get involved in activism, it will keep you sane. Um, you know, it's it's hard when you're dealing with people that don't want to change in your members of your family or friends. So just keep yourself sane and forget, don't worry too much about them too much, don't focus on them. But instead, if you do activism, it opens you up to more open-minded people that are willing to change. So yeah, number three is to be positive. Um, you know, we are in the minority, but veganism is growing. Celebrate the little victories. It's important to stay sane and to focus on the good aspects of life. It can be very easy to go on a downward spiral of feeling depressed and frustrated with the world. So I think a way to stay positive is to do take action and do activism as well. Live as a positive example. Just enjoy all aspects of being veganism, um, your food and everything, and you know, if you try, if you focus more on planting seeds in people rather than converting them, it takes the pressure off you. So you can just live as a positive example to those around you in your everyday life. Fourth lesson is to plan ahead and be organised. And this is a great thing because I was never an organised person before and now I am. <laughs> So um, if you get a dinner invite or something, maybe ring the restaurant up before to find out what vegan options there are, ask them if they can prepare something for you, or bring a vegan dish along um, to a family gathering or party, um, these kind of things. It really helps to think ahead. And there's great tools to use like the Happy Cow um, and other websites where you can find vegan cuisine nearby to you. And the last thing I've learned um, is to take B12 supplementing seriously. I didn't used to take it that seriously and I used to think, oh, you know, you can get B12 from dirty vegetables, organic vegetables. But the problem is, you know, B12 is a whole other video, but this, the risks of B12 are too high and it can cause long-term irreversible damage from not getting enough B12. And I just have to say that also B12 deficiencies are not just exclusive to vegans. There are members of my family who eat animal products and they still supplement in B12. So do take it seriously, check your levels. And yeah, it's a modern problem and I will go into that in another video. So yeah, I hope that these uh, lessons have been useful to you. Um, if you are new to being vegan and this was helpful, give this video a thumbs up. And if you are already on the vegan path for some time, what are your lessons? I'd really like to hear what you have to say as well. So put those down below and have a great day.